What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through any of this stream because my, my voice, guys, I'm just so sick. I'm not going to be able to say hello to everyone. And then three hours. She's perfectly fine. It's absolute insanity. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a middle school. If And I don't know if you did this, but I know that I did. You went down to the nurse. You didn't want to be at school. So they gave you the little mercury thermometer and you would either, you know, go to the bathroom and put it under hot water or you would rub your fingers together with it to get it hot and then be like, yeah, I've definitely got a fever. I need to go home. That's how this stream feels to me. She says that this has taught her the importance of washing her hands. And of course, Salah is on the way. Of course, she's had nothing to eat since we last saw her go live, but within 15 minutes of being online, she's ordered food. She gets a bag of soup, an egg, rice with shrimp. She laments that the rice have the heads on them, and she really wants her Timu. She needs fluid. She wants to rest. She misses Salah. And, and Salah, again, he has a date, which no one questions Salah having dates, Chantal. We question he has a date to fly to you, but I digress. She does also confirm, interestingly enough, she sold the Kia. That's going to come important in just a, a moment here. Because she starts with her normal, you know, I'm changing my life soon. We should all stay tuned. Oh, my goodness. Epic glow up. You're never going to believe it. Six-pack arc. All these things. And if you follow the lineage here, whenever she is sick, she starts to talk about eating healthy. I mean, just a couple months ago, you know, she's praying to Allah, committing to never mistreat her body with bad foods if she just had one more chance. And yet here we are. And it's the same concepts. It really is the same concepts. It's either baby steps and small changes because, you know, restrictions set her up for failure. Or it's, I have to make completely drastic changes, like I'm going to go vegan. I've never in my life seen someone cite to you how they're going to fail before they even start. So honestly, pun fully intended, no matter what she does, she's baked in failure. She has built in excuses to justify and accept that she's not going to be successful. And of course, everything is up to Allah, right? She tries to rewrite history about Bibi leaving her, the, the child that Bibi wanted. Again, Chantal, you were either lying then or you're lying now, okay? And you really, to be fair, you really had no reason to lie back then. So I'm going to go with you're lying now or you simply just told yourself something different to help yourself cope, which is even sadder than you lying, to be quite honest. Salah is faithful, depending on what happened in the past. She doesn't care about it. It never happened. Who knows? And then I'm sure you've seen these clips, but my goodness, she goes into this luxury bag discussion and says that it's a, quote, vulgar display of wealth based on what she's seen on TikTok. And she has the most hollow argument. It's really, it's really a stupid argument. I can't stress to you enough. And to be honest, she doesn't understand that people have things that make them happy, and it's not food. She can't look at things beyond herself. So for her to sit there and talk about someone's morals and how much someone spends, okay, let, let's say, let's say someone spends $2,000 on a purse, Okay. And they go to the poorest region of wherever. Let's say Chantal takes her $2,000 a month worth of takeout to that same region, right? Who is going to look worse, right? Her filming, you know, these mukbangs, eating large amounts of food, or someone that simply bought a designer item. Because she thinks that people are going to feel bad because the cost of the purse, but Chantal, that's not even relevant, it's really not based on the discussion you want to have because the reality is you're laying in bed on a vacation budgeting $40 a day for takeout because you refused to buy a microwave or rent one after people told you that. And you were trying to spin this into a narrative about designer brands. You know, and Chantal, to be quite blunt, you don't even need to go to a poor place, if you will, right? You can go anywhere. You know, I, I could go right now to an area of moderate wealth and show a Patek Philippe and they might not have any idea its value, right? But you, Chantal, you could go eat large amounts of food 
and people would say, hey, you're eating beyond your means because that's the argument you want to have. The argument that you want to have is someone's living beyond their means. A $2,000 bag, a $20,000 bag, that's living beyond their means because to you, that's a car. Okay, but understand those same people can look at you living beyond your needs with food. You don't even have to worry about, you know, prestige being thrown around and they can say, hey, you're being wasteful. You know, you're impacting us. We could do so much more with that. We could buy a car. And, and I would also be very, very remiss if I didn't bring up the fact that Chantal, if you had any of these things that there is no doubt that you would every day come online and ask us, you know, where is your Patek Philippe? As a matter of fact, that's why, in my opinion, so many reaction channels, we don't show what we have. Because we know all that it's going to be done is used against us. And so much of this stream is her laying down, eating, complaining. She doesn't understand how people can react to this content. Chantal, you have no shame spending your entire vacation in your bed. You can say that you don't understand why people watch, but the reality is you just gave us a whole bunch of talking points based on your hollow and ignorant arguments. Tomorrow, she wants to go out and look for fruit stands. Sala in the chat is telling people what reaction channels need to do to pay their bills and offers that we should go get jobs. I mean, to be honest with you, kind of the analogy of, you know, you don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Salah, let me explain to you. Not only does every reaction channel have the pot to piss, we have a stove to boil it on and then serve you that boiling hot piss back. And I know, I know that you would like that. I know that that would be something that you would enjoy. But the reality is, it's such an incredible argument. You are making jokes about how boring your wife's content is while she's sprawled out on the bed singing The Offspring. While she admits she hasn't worked in over 20 years, but continually telling stories about what it was like when she did work, and she can't even get out of bed, and you are somehow taken back that people can make income based on reacting to this. And then she uses this to talk about the leaked picture of Sala and how it couldn't be him because she couldn't, quote, be with someone like that. She goes on to insult Jordy for his preferences, which, Chantal, it's unacceptable. There's no reason to talk about someone's preferences, much less coming from you. Salah then calls him Jordy Turdy. So, so to be clear, the person who has been shown to have, we'll call them restroom fetishes, has a photo leaked, is openly encouraging his wife to mock other men about issues they may or may not deal with. And he also accepts that those frustrations are rooted in the fact that men, like myself, generate income reacting to his wife. When everyone knows he tried to do this, and much like Chantal and her eating healthy, failed. And of course, all of this is done through the chat because he couldn't go be with his wife because he's stuck in these really important business, personal, urgent meetings for Vandalay fragrances. The Cal Tipper joins the chat to encourage all of this. And Chantal talks about all the talents the Cal Tipper has and, and how it's different for him to be involved in this because he says negative things about the reaction channels and how that doesn't apply to him in Sala. The reality is very simple. Okay. A anyone who sides with Chantal, she will overlook anything they do or say. If someone she doesn't like spends two hours a day reacting to her, you know, they're weird. They do nothing. They neglect their family. This is the only way they can make money. Okay. But if someone is defending her reacts for that same exact amount of time, well, they're talented, they're funny, they're successful. The, the Cal Tipper is a comedian now. Chantal, the Cal Tipper is a failed comedian. If you listened just to Chantal's stream, you would think that the Cal Tipper has this upcoming Netflix special and that Sala worked under the tutelage of Terry Mugler. She then 
talks about how clean the hotel room is because she's bagging up garbage daily. She talks about loving Salah for who he is. I, I can't stress this enough. She talks about loving Salah for who he is. 30 minutes after saying she could never be with someone that has a size issue like Salah has. Hollow arguments. It's almost like you're talking so much, you forget the insults that you try to use against others and how they can apply to you. And honestly, other than that, she's just been laying around watching TikTok, hates her hair, needs to eat healthier, goes on about how much she loves bidets, and she could never go back to uncultured toilet paper. Other than that, there really wasn't much to it. I mean, it was three hours, but it's really the same concepts, just put in different context. And they still don't make sense. And she still is stuck in a hotel room, just like she would be stuck in the apartment in Kuwait, just like she was continually stuck in the villa, trying to explain to everyone she's living her best life and no one else is when everything for her revolves around food. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. And you know, just like Chantal scrolling through TikTok, getting mad somebody's got a designer purse. I'll be back as soon as I can with more commentary.